Hello, welcome back to the At Scale Cloud Migration course. My name is Chris Oshiro. I'm the uh, VP of Sales Engineering at At Scale. Uh, and today we're going to cover the At Scale application migration. So, first, just a reminder on the At Scale architecture. Now, if you've been watching this course, you're probably very familiar with this, so I won't belabor the point. But At Scale is a light footprint install on a, uh, on a big data cluster on prem or on the cloud. In this example, we are on prem. Uh, and we're creating this at scale virtual cube for consumption by the BI tools. They can use MDX or SQL. And in fact, we want to enable the entire business to use the tool that they're most productive with. Well, when you migrate this type of application to the cloud, normally there's a lot of rewrite of business logic. There's a lot of rewrite to accommodate for the online data platform, data formats, calculations, et cetera. But for at scale, because we are that abstraction layer, because we just uh, take the same business rules in, uh, in the at scale uh, cube, and we simply transform it for the online data platform, in this case, it's the cloud, the BI constituents experience no business interruption whatsoever. And now at scale is pointing to a data source that could be Snowflake, could be Redshift, could be Google BigQuery, uh, and the BI constituents have no idea that those changes have been made your organization gets to take advantage of moving over to the cloud for its various uh, opportunities, everything from new IT uh, innovation, uh, data center um, uh, migration requirements, et cetera. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna start here in an at scale uh, design center canvas. Again, probably something that uh, everyone who's been watching this is uh, very familiar with now. You've probably seen it a couple of times. But this is our, this is our sales insight uh, internet sales cube example, right? Uh, again, the several dimensions, several uh, measures in this model, but really what we want to concentrate on today is the data sources. So I'll go ahead and click on data sources and expand this. You'll see that I have two databases uh, and several tables, right? So this is my schema. Uh, and this again is pointing to a local Hadoop environment. Uh, and in fact, if we take a look at a, a simple visualization here that I'm building with Tableau, again, uh, I left off from a previous uh, demonstration where we're looking at my e-commerce data, uh, sales amount, order quantity, I'm filtering by weight, if you remember, uh, and taking a look at these kind of linear graphs, right? The queries that come inbound from this type of visualization would look something like this. Let's go, go ahead and take a look at the queries that are coming into my Hadoop environment. And you can see here the query asking for order quantity sales amount with my hierarchy of product category, product line uh, hierarchy, and a limitation of weight, right? And that's the uh, query comes into my, my Hadoop engine. Well, let's take a look at what it, what it takes to actually migrate this type of application over to the cloud. So using the same at scale environment, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my design uh, layer here and replicate the sales insight. I'm going to duplicate it. Let's go ahead and call this project to the cloud. And open up this cube. When you open up this cube in that scale, since this is a new cube, it's asking you to identify an environment. So we can essentially point to a different uh, type of platform. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose Redshift and click Save. Again, choosing Redshift versus choosing Snowflake or Google BigQuery would have made no difference. Essentially, I'm, new, I'm pointing to a new underlying data source. Nothing I have to do on the cube side. So the dimensions and the measures, right, the hierarchies, everything that we've identified in, previous, uh, in the previous sessions, those actually stay immediately absolutely the same. So in other type of technologies, there would be a ton of rewrite here. Right, because now if you move from one platform to another, it means that you have to migrate the, data, the, uh, the business logic. It means you have to do some new uh, mappings underneath the cover. In this sense, since I moved it over to Redshift, you can see here, I'm actually, I actually have a whole series of different databases and different tables that sit underneath this database. In fact, if I just go ahead and um, take a look at my sales uh, inf information, a series of additional tables and dimension tables. And on my fact table, if I show you my, the back end here, you can see that my schema now has, the, I have a ton of schemas I can choose from. 
but I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is. And the only difference I'll do here is I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And instead of publishing to that, that other Hadoop environment, I'm going to publish to my Redshift environment. And we're going to download this TDS. Again, really critical here that as I download this TDS, this is my new, um, my new Tableau data source. No logic has to be changed on the at scale cube. And no logic, no logic is going to have to change here on the Tableau side. So let's go ahead and grab that latest TDS. Log in. So we'll see here a new data source. I'm going to go ahead and relabel this for, for clarity, right? Where this is my same one, but this time I'm hitting Redshift. And I'm going to just replace it. Going from Hadoop to uh, Redshift, click OK. And refresh this existing query. Right. So I'm essentially reissuing the query to, uh, to instantiate this visualization uh, over to the rest of the environment. And in fact, I can add some additional things like let's go ahead and open up my customer attributes. Let's bring gender in here and drop it into color. Great. So now if we go back into from my, my at scale environment, let's take a look at the queries that are coming into Redshift. Here we go. So that is the query that I just received from Tableau, inclusive of the uh, gender dimension. And I'm passing it down to my Redshift application and data platform. All of the rewrite, the queries that you're seeing here, might have been very different than you see it on Impala. In fact, how we extract fields like weight, for example, it might be a different, different function, right? How you uh, bring those uh, tables together the, the where these tables sit in different type of databases might have shifted and changed. And some mappings are done on the at scale side, but the business logic doesn't have to change. The Tableau environment doesn't have to change and you minimize, if not you zero out the business interruption for your constituents and they, they're able to move over to the cloud with the help of at scale. So thanks a lot. Looking forward to the next session.